your computer is freezing up or your video is freezing up when you're recording on, a, on your GoBox Studio. Well, if that's happening, check out the previous video. But if you've already done that and you have the software install and settings updated, well, this video was going to help you alleviate that issue. So Ken, how do we do this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the previous video, seriously, if you haven't done that yet, do that first. 99% chance that's going to solve the problem. Now, in some cases, you might be in a really hot environment. You might be in direct sunlight, which I don't recommend. But as you know, when computers get too hot, they shut down to protect themselves from burning out. And we've done our best to manage the heat with you know a big old fan here and a lot of ventilation. However, if it blacks out or if it just freezes and you're like stuck, you know, and nothing's moving, your laptop will still be able to continue the stream. Let's say you're doing a live stream. What's going to happen is when you do what I'm about to show you, you're not, your stream is not going to die, but instead it's just going to switch to your default laptop camera for a little while mm -hmm. while this happens. So this has happened to me. It's not ideal, definitely not ideal. You want to be generally indoors where you can control the temperature and things don't get too hot, but it won't kill your stream. So you don't worry too much. Your face would just look like it would normally look on a webcam if this happens. So this is what you're going to see. If you look under the hood or inside the case, this is this machine that actually does all the work. So there's this red switch here and you just want to flick it off, right? Flick it off and automatically your Zoom or StreamYard or Ecamm, whatever you're using, will switch to your default camera. And you switch that off, count maybe, you know, 10 seconds in your mind, mm -hmm. flick it back on, and then you're going to hit this power button here. So this hub doesn't turn on unless you hit this round button. And what's going to happen is everything is just going to shut down once. The things that are cooled off just get a little break. Yeah. When you flick it back on, the fans should come up, suck all the heat out, and you should be good to go again. And uh, I found a couple times I had to do that. Again, not ideal, but if all else fails, this is just the hard reset boot that sometimes uh, you may have to pull the trigger on. And the cool part with the GoBox Studio is that Let's say you want to do that and your camera just switched. Because we have these call to actions, you can quickly press on the call to action that the, you know, the live stream viewer is watching like, oh, call to action coming up. And then you can quickly turn the off switch, wait a few minutes, count to 10 or whatever, and then come back on because people can still hear you. And then when you come back on, you turn off that call to action. So it's the seamless thing that you've avoided a problem. Now that's what you call ninja tricks there. So <laughs> yeah, if you need to do it, I didn't even think of that. I would, I should have totally done that. You, you hit the, you know, a screen to cover your face while you're doing this. And it takes 15 to 20 seconds for this whole thing to reboot. And most people may never know that that happened. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that that's totally cool. All right. Hope that helps. And uh, we'll be making plenty more tutorials like this for you.